All right, hey, welcome. We're at Exodus 10, verse 21 and 29, and this is going to be the ninth of the ten plagues. And it's a shorter one. We're going to read it all here, starting at verse 21. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand toward the sky, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even a darkness which may be felt. So Moses stretched out his hand toward the sky, and there was thick darkness in all the land of Egypt for three days. They did not see one another, nor did anyone rise from his place for three days, but all the sons of Israel had light in their dwellings. Then Pharaoh called for, to Moses and said, Go, serve the Lord. Only let your flocks and your herds be detained. Even your little ones may go with you. But Moses said, You must also let us have sacrifices and burnt offerings, that we may sacrifice them to the Lord our God. Therefore our livestock too shall go with us. Not a hoof shall be left behind, for we shall take some of them to serve the Lord our God. And until we arrive there, we ourselves do not know with what we shall serve the Lord. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he was not willing to let them go. Then Pharaoh said to him, Get away from me. Beware. Do not see my face again, for in the day you see my face, you shall die. Moses said, You are right. I shall never see your face again. So we come now to the ninth plague, and it's as it was with the previous plagues. This is the third in sequence in a triad. There's three triads of plagues, the first three, the second three, the third three, and always in the pattern is the same. When you get to the third one of the three, and this is the third one of the last three, uh, when you get to that part in the pattern, the plague is just simply launched. There's no interview with Pharaoh. Pharaoh hasn't let the people go. God just says, let it rip. So the third in series is always just unceremoniously just, just dropped on Pharaoh. So here we are, ninth in the, uh, of the plagues. Darkness in the land of Egypt, and but light in the dwellings of God's people. Now the significance of darkness for three days in Egypt, we shouldn't miss it. This is gigantic. The, the, the ultimate deity in Egypt was the sun god. Okay, so sun is kind of like the top of the line here. We've reached the, the top deity of all the uh, Egyptian deities. And now for there to be three days of darkness, uh, three days where Yahweh is, is, three days where Yahweh is, is preventing the sun from shining. This is the triumph of the god of the Hebrews, Yahweh, over the Egyptian the master god, the biggest and most baddest of all the Egyptian gods. And if you think about it, you know, even in our day, three days of total darkness, that would that would turn our society upside down. We would say, we would recognize, hey, something's been turned completely, the, the nature's been completely turned completely out of its normal flow. What's going on? Uh, this would dramatically disrupt our culture today. We would be uh, shocked and amazed. People would be really, so, so what would, for them to be shocked and amazed is certainly no surprise to us at all. But God is, is merciful. He doesn't make it seven days or something. It's just three days. And so that's the period of time. And then there's a relenting. And immediately, uh, now that there's light, they send for, I wonder who, you know, Moses and Aaron are sent for by Pharaoh. So this is a terribly humbling event. And, and yet after nine plagues, we're, we're at this, still at this remarkable impasse, just total impact. So Pharaoh tells them, okay, look, we're going to let all of you go, but not your animals. But Moses is not going to compromise here. Why? Why is Moses so stubborn? Can't he compromise at this spot? Well, God hasn't given precise directions yet. Go through the text. You'll see this is true. He hasn't told them exactly what their sacrifices are going to need to be. So Moses is planning on bringing everything because he hasn't been given that guidance yet. So, and Moses will not compromise at this spot here. And so here we are, kind of caught at this impasse again. So Moses loses, abruptly, he just loses, totally loses control. He cuts off all negotiations. This is it. It's over. We're done here. If you come again, I, I will have you killed. So there we are, you know, it's all or nothing. Pharaoh's done. And Moses agrees. Okay, well, yeah, I guess that'll be all. So there we are, nine plagues, stuck, absolutely just plain stuck. And um, I guess that means we might have to have plague number 10. So we'll work our way now through it starting tomorrow, uh, all the business coming before plague 10, and then the finally the 10th the of the plagues uh, will indeed fall because Pharaoh would not relent 
at any point where he had free uh, free decision, and at this point, uh, it's being forced all the way to the edge. So onward we go. Hey, by the way, at Monday at noon, we do a YouTube live, a little recap of going over the week, any new videos that week, and this, this last seven days of, of devotionals, any questions you have or anything, come on over if you'd like to, to the channel here for YouTube live on Monday. All right, see ya.